got back from Home Bargains and I thought I'd show you what I've got. I've started Christmas shopping and I didn't film in the shop because it would have been too much so I just thought I would do a haul for you. So I'm going to try and keep as steady as possible which is a bit tricky when you're one-handed. So I got some of these craft glue dots. Um, these tissues are great. I've got a lot of stocking filler things so some of these things are duplicated because I do stockings for different family members. I always find um, things like napkins are a great stocking filler for um, my in-laws. <laughs> and then I got some um, skinny whip bars for my sister-in-law, protein bars for my hubby, sour patch kids, uh, watermelon flavour. Some more skinny bars, they had lots of different flavours of these, so if you like those. I can't remember the prices of things, so don't ask. Um, I did buy a few of these because I thought they'd be good for um, screens and glasses, so another great stocking filler for kids and for adults. So I've got three of those. I tend to uh, get air fresheners for um, my husband, for the car, always quite a handy little stocking filler type thing. These little wet wipes, I know my mother-in-law uses these quite a lot, very handy for the handbag. And I can split these up if I need to, um, use them for different people. More sour patch. I've got these rum truffles. Again, I think food is a great <laughs> stocking filler. Um, probably going to my in-laws. I got this at Bailey's chocolate bar for all my sister-in-law. Fry's peppermint cream for the hubby. They had the blue packet and it took me ages to find out what the difference was because the pictures looked the same. But I think the blue one is chocolate cream rather than peppermint cream. I also got um, a pack of this variety pack, which I think probably worked out cheaper than buying these individually. Um, and it's not in really fancy Christmas packaging either, so I thought that was quite a good way to to buy those. That one's a Nestle, Nestle variety. Got some Imperial Leather Bath Soak Relaxing Bath Soak. It's quite a big um, bottle. That would be for my sister-in-law. And then for my youngest son, I tend to get him quite like a fun shower gel. This one is Cinnamon sugar and winter sparkles flavour. I don't know what it smells like but um, I thought it was quite cute with the the dash ends on it. Uh, Norwegian formula concentrated Neutrogena rather hand cream. Yeah it's Norwegian. <laughs> My husband uh, works in um, uh, in the engineering business and often gets dry hands and goes through cream so I thought I'd treat him to some of that. Now, I normally get Nutella uh, chocolate spread from my in-laws, but it's quite expensive. I usually actually get the one kilogram jar, but I'm sure this is like literally 99p. I don't know what the chocolate content is like, but I thought that's a cheaper way of doing it. I thought this was a um, nice idea. It's a eye roll-on deep puffy eye thing um, for my sister-in-law. not saying she's got really puffy eyes, but sometimes it's just nice to freshen up under the eye. Again, I tend to get my in-laws uh, a hand wash. This is Driving Gnome for Christmas. Cotton candy and winter berries limited edition. And this was cheaper than buying the smaller one. So do watch out for that. Have a look and compare prices for things. And I hadn't seen this before. Vimto jam. Um, again, I tend to get them some jams at Christmas for their stocking. Um, I thought it would be a bit of fun. Some Vimto jam. I got some dry shampoo for my sister-in-law just you know useful kind of you know pampery bits I think is good and I know that she likes to do um, a face mask so I was there for ages trying to decide so I've gone for the bubble tea version and then my husband likes big mug of tea so I got him this my bar hum mug um, I do change over my mugs for Christmas and so I thought um, this would be a good one for him to to have. Uh, does it say? I'm going to try and read this through the... doesn't say how big it is but um, hopefully you can get a sense of the size. It is rather large. 
uh, which I thought was fun. And then for the boys, I got them each. These were really cheap. Uh, a desktop phone holder. And they came in black and white, so I got a, d a different colour for each son. I uh, just thought they are quite handy just to have in their bedrooms if they wanted their phones on a stand or when they're looking at their phones. Um, it's not always easy to have your phone in the position that you want. Oh, I did treat myself to uh, warm apple and cinnamon candle. I was going to get the pumpkin chai one, but I preferred the smell of this one for autumn. Um, I love the cinnamon smell for Christmas, but this one um, is my autumn into Christmas candle. So I had to really resist not buying anything for myself. So um, I'll let you know at the end, of, I'll pop it on the screen how much the total of this came up to. I kind of wasn't holding back with, um, I wasn't like keeping a check on the price. I just knew, kind of, I was just trying to make decisions of what I was trying to buy. Um, so I was quite pleased with that. And that was at Home Bargains. And then I popped to B&M. So I didn't get much there, but I'll show you quickly what I got from B&M. So B&M. I got the six pack of sweet and salty popcorn and the six pack of toffee because again I can split this into various stockings it doesn't have to go in for one person so that's a, a fun way of doing it. I've often got the boys these for their <laughs> Christmas stockings since they were younger so just to kind of keep it a bit healthy so I've got some yo-yo bars and some of these white chocolate cookie peppero oreo sticks not sure who those are for yet I'm going to decide when I do the stockings and then chocolate coins. These were still a pound for a bag. I've got three of those and I'll, again, I'll just divide those in the stockings rather than everybody having a bag to themselves. And then I've got some chocolate liqueurs. These were the branded ones, which I thought were probably a bit better than um, the kind of non-brand ones. And... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, these were five pounds, but I'll probably use this as a Christmas present for my husband, along with some uh, traditional Turkish delight. So I'll probably stick that together as a prezi. And then last but not least, this uh, Pokemon bottle, uh, like a drinks, it's a plastic drinks bottle for my son. This was six pounds. Um, it's probably about 500 mil. So... Not the cheapest, but um, quite useful. If if I don't use it for Christmas, it will be uh, saved for his birthday in March because they tend to have the branded um, things come out at Christmas, Pokemon, Minecraft, Xbox, those type of things. So that is my haul for today. And again, I'll pop up on screen how much that stuff cost from B&M. But I thought I'd like to share that with you. thought you might like to know. Um, if I go again, I'll try and either do another haul or film in B&M just depends but yes please that i've started my christmas stocking shopping that's it for now esther signing out from my money matters <laughs> bye for now